Aaron, as always, appreciate your insight and your time. I can't imagine what the nerves are like today, your first PGA Tour event, or is it just like a regular Thursday where you and I are playing golf? Uh, right right now, it feels pretty pretty normal, but I think once I get there, it'll be a little bit different. Um, there's been a lot of fans out on the golf course and everything. It's just a, a bigger scale than what I'm used to, um, but it's going to be a really fun week. Walk us through the last few days. What's it been like since you got into Toronto? Um, yeah, the, the flight from Germany was, was long and then the Toronto airport's a bit of a disaster right now. So after we sat on the runway for two hours on uh, <laughs> Monday afternoon, we finally got off the tarmac, but, uh, yeah, Tuesday, there was a lot of rain in the morning. So I was able to just practice and play nine holes in the evening. Uh, Derek Ingram walked the back nine with me and helped me out with the swing and just some little pointers. And then, uh, yesterday I played the pro-am, played the front nine and, uh, got some practice in after and, uh, yeah, we're ready to roll today. You mentioned Derek Ingram, a Winnipegger. You've known him for a long time. Uh, what's it been like to have some familiar faces around there in this first big event for you? Yeah, it's been great. He's obviously a veteran out here and knows what to do and kind of the inside the ropes type stuff that maybe I wouldn't have known otherwise and uh, introduced me with Corey and played a few holes with Corey last week. And uh, yeah, just just little things that make the week a little bit easier. Um DI is awesome and he's got a pretty good sense of humor. So it's always a fun stroll out there with him on the golf course. You sound like you're settling in. Corey's just Corey Connors. Yeah. Yeah. No, we play <laughs> together and he's, he's just a, a normal dude. And he was going to the airport after and flying down to the Memorial. And I was, I had a flight over to Germany at the same time. So he gave me a lift to the airport and uh, yeah, he's a nice guy. I, I, I didn't really know him beforehand, but uh, starting to get to know some of these guys and was chatting with, like we said, Mike Weir and Nick Taylor out there the last few days and uh yeah it's 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 kind of cool tell me about your interaction with mike weir that's going to be cool for well really any canadian yeah like i i grew up watching him and he's probably you know part of the reason i'm i'm into golf now and just ran into him in the gym the other day and just didn't want to bug him but wanted to introduce myself and we kind of had a brief chat and he knew who i was which i was surprised by and uh yeah i just told him he's kind of part of the reason i get into golf and it's cool to be playing in the same event as him this week and uh they got a nice group. They got the all Canadian group out there this morning. And I think there's some pretty good crowds for them. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a fun week already. You mentioned this morning, we're only a few hours away from you teeing it up. Uh, what's your day like today? Can you walk us through and maybe how different is it in this tournament compared to every other one you've done? Because, well, I'm bugging you early this morning and, uh, and I know there's a lot of people that, uh, you know, want to try and get a piece of you here and obviously you're doing it. Yeah, it's just a little bit busier. And when you're at the golf course, things just take a little bit longer. You run into people and have conversations here and there, and there's there's more crowds and it's harder to get from the range to the putting green to the tee and and so forth. So um, just this morning having breakfast with the family at the Airbnb and going to go up a little bit early and do some practice, have some lunch and and go peg it this afternoon. Nothing, nothing too different. What does it mean for you? Like you're here, today's the day you get a chance to play your first PGA tour event. Like, are you letting that sink in? Is your family and friends bringing that up? Or are you trying to push all that noise away? And maybe you look at that when you get back here to Manitoba next week. Yeah. I mean, I guess, I don't know. I, I do a pretty good job of just being dumb in a way and just going about my business and not thinking about it too much. But when you put it like that, it kind of, you know, it's been a, a long time coming and playing a PGA tour event is really cool. So um, I know that this is, a big opportunity and a big week. Um, but all I can do is just go through my pre-shot routine and focus on the first shot that I'm going to hit on Thursday and, and go from there. You mentioned seeing Mike Weir, you know, Corey Connors a little bit, but you know, the big stars that uh, we look at and watch every week on television are all going to be involved in that event as well. And there's other pro athletes, whether it's hockey or baseball or basketball, football, when someone goes for the first time, they say, I've kind of got that aha moment, like I'm here. Have you had that yet this week? Have you come across any of the the big boys that uh, you've had a chance to visit with or how have you approached that? Yeah, I mean, ran into past Rory and Justin Thomas and Cam Smith was the back nine pro for my, my group the other day. Um, right beside me, Mike Weir's locker is being used. It's John Tavera's normal locker. Mike Weir has it for the week, so just uh, a little bit different than what I'm used to from Stony Mountain, Manitoba and Toulon Golfing Country Club. Um, but 
they're all normal guys and anyone any of them that i've ever chatted with they're all all good dudes and we're all kind of out here doing the same thing and uh they've just happened to do really well at it and i guess i hope to be there somewhat soon if i can and and then do as best i can this week and we'll go from there you do know that somebody in Toulon saying that I use Aaron Cockrell's stall, right? In locker room. <laughs> I don't even know if we have a locker room there. <laughs> you need to build one and just put your name on it or something <laughs> when you get back next week. <laughs> hey, real quick, uh, last one for you, because I know you've got to get to the course and uh, really appreciate your time as always. What's the approach to round one here today? What's the golf course like? Take us inside the ropes and, uh, Give us a quick Cole's notes of what uh, we could expect to watch you do on television here over the next four days. You got to keep it in the fairway. I've talked to a few guys who have played in U S opens and they said that this rough is every bit as thick as U S open. Like I, I tried to hit a five iron out of it the other day and it's not happening You're You're not getting much more than a seven or an eight iron on it. Um, so you got to keep it in the fairway. And if you do that, it, it, it there is some chances. Um, there's a couple short par fives on nine and 11. Um, and the, the greens are pretty slopey and pretty quick. Um, so if it gets a little windy, you got to keep the ball below the hole. Um, but it starts from hitting the fairways and then you can be aggressive from there. If you don't, it's going to be a long day. Um, so just drive it well and just, which is something I normally do well. So I think right. this course sets up pretty good for me um, and go from there. But yeah, other, other than that, fairways are key. It's an exciting day. You've been waiting for this for a long time. We're all proud of you. We're cheering for you. Have fun uh, over the next four days. We'll see you back at home here next week. Will do. Thanks, Wendy.